Spiders in the graveyard. I love a graveyard, don't you? Today I'm in Ocean City, Ocean City, Maryland that is, and this is a little neighborhood in West Ocean City known as Captain's Hill. Um, and I'm standing in someone's yard, actually. This marker and footstone um, are in the yard and have been here for hundreds of years. The marker says this, it's four feet tall, you can see it's quite tall, and it says in memory of Captain William Carhart shipwrecked off this coast January 5th 1799 aged 38 years and four months and the footstone has his initials on it so some people don't really understand what footstones are footstones were uh, sometimes they're mistaken for child's graves children's graves but they are to mark where the body is so even though the writing is on this side here the body isn't in front where the writing is the body is between the headstone and the footstone and you needed to know that because um, when the casket would decay and the body would decompose, you'd have a big air pocket in the ground. And if you were to step on the grave, you might sink and you might be injured and it would wreck the grave. And this is really, I think, why our elders told us not to walk on graves uh, because it was disrespectful. It wasn't so much disrespectful as it was dangerous. So uh, this does have the footstone. And nobody ever knew why this guy was here how he got here, uh, how he got shipwrecked, there was no record. It was just a grave out here in a field uh, with a headstone and footstone. So it was a big mystery. And then one day a lady um, from Hampton, Virginia, uh, she, had, I think she had lost her son in uh, one of the Middle Eastern wars or conflicts. And it was kind of a cathartic process for her to find out what happened to Captain Carhart. What really was the story? And she found out a lot. She went to set, she went through all kinds of naval records. But she found out that he was the captain of a ship named the Hawk. And the Hawk traveled to Cuba from Philadelphia, and that is where Captain Carhartt was from. It left Cuba with sugar on board, probably, on Christmas Day, 1798. And on the 11th day of Christmas, it was lost. That's January 5th. And that's the day on the headstone. It was lost. All the crew was lost. Nothing remains. She also found out that his widow, she found the bill of sale from the widow who paid for this marker. So evidently, Captain Carhart's body was brought out here, way away from the ocean, by the way. And this was long before the inlet was there. So it's kind of odd why would they bring him this far? And where's his crew? And was it only Captain Carhartt? Was he the only one they got? I think somebody did research the, the temperature of the waters that January were extremely cold. So they estimated uh, a time of survival was less than 10 minutes when you were in the water. So it's likely that Captain Carhartt and his crew drowned. Um, but he was brought here and he was buried here. Now, something interesting interesting point that has nothing I found this in a totally unrelated story is that when before all of these condos and houses were over on this side it was a pasture with cattle and there was a, a big rainy season and a ditch where this farmer's cattle got stuck in the mud in the ditch and when he went to pull the cattle out just over there he found uh, remains bones in the ditch that the cattle had stirred up so it's quite possible that, the, that there were others buried here too, but only Captain Carhart, his wife, only, only he had a marker because his wife could pay for it, and the rest are somewhere else. So that's, uh, that's the story, West Ocean City, Captain William Carhart. This, by the way, is the only grave in Ocean City, the only marked one anyway. All the relatives of people in Ocean City are buried in Berlin or elsewhere. This is the one and only grave in the town. I'm Mindy Burgoyne, this is Fridays in the Graveyard, and I will see you next week.